Hello everybody, well, welcome to today's workout. Today we are gonna be using a little Pilates ball. So if you don't have a Pilates ball, it's not a big deal. You can do all these exercises without it. If you do have a little Pilates ball, go ahead and grab it and we will hop right into it. All right, if we've not met before, my name is Margaret. I'm a 25 year old living in Arizona. I love all things health, fun, and fitness. We do Pilates workouts here on the channel, strength training workouts, cardio workouts. We kind of do it all. So if you're new here, I'm so happy that you're here. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So find a comfortable seat on your mat. You can grab that ball, hands come to the knees. We're just gonna start with a nice deep inhale. Big exhale, press out through the, through the mouth. Inhale, pull the shoulders to the ears. Big exhale, press it out, roll the shoulders down. One more here. Okay, we're gonna turn to the side. We're gonna put the ball right behind our low back. You're gonna take a C curve through your spine and lean back onto that ball. Feet about hips distance apart. Hands come behind the head. We're just gonna start with a little um, knee to elbow crunch here. So big exhale, you're gonna pull right elbow towards left knee. Inhale, we lengthen back out. So you're pulling your belly button in towards your spine, maintaining that little C curve through your spine. 15 seconds left here. We're just gonna switch right over to the other side. We get a little twist through the core, so you're using your obliques to help turn you one way. Use your obliques, resist that tension, pull it back around. We'll switch it over in three, two, and one. Left foot comes down, big exhale. Pull the left elbow towards the right knee. Inhale, bring it back down. I know it's tough to see me when I turn the other way. So if you need to adjust that ball or adjust the way that you're sitting, feel free to do so. If you feel tension through your low back, maybe tension through your hip flexors. If you sit further back on the ball, that's gonna alleviate tension through the hip flexors. Although I would not recommend leaning all the way back. That's gonna just be a little bit funky. 15 seconds left here. Hands are gonna come down behind you. We're just gonna do some scissor kicks. Five, four, three, two, and one, we're just gonna plant the hands right behind us, get a little bit of extra support. Knees come over the hips, we're just gonna drop, and drop, drop, and drop. If you can take the hands away, take the hands away. 15 seconds, we'll get a little stretch. In five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, woo! From here, we're gonna come down to our mat. We're gonna do a little bit of crunching here. So we wanna think of this the same way we would a dead bug. So knees come above the hips. We're gonna put the ball onto the left quad. Inhale, you're gonna lengthen out through that left leg. Big exhale, pull it in, roll that ball up towards the knee. Inhale, lengthen out. Big exhale, roll it up towards the knee. 15 seconds left here. We're actually just gonna switch it right over. Inhale, lengthen out. Big exhale, press it up. So low back stays down, pressing to the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch that ball over. Inhale, we lengthen out. Big exhale, you roll that ball up towards the knee. Inhale, lengthen out, roll that ball down. Big exhale, press it up. Think about pressing your belly button down towards the mat. 15 seconds left here. We're gonna rock up, bring it into some hundreds. We'll just hold that ball in our hands in five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna bring it all the way up. Whoop. Ball stays in the hands. If you wanna rest the ball on your shins, that's perfect. We're just gonna pump through the hands. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You got it. 
Breathe through it, breathe through it. If you need to take a rest, take a rest. 15 seconds left here. We'll grab onto that ball. We're gonna move into some plank work. Stay with me, just five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Woo! We're gonna flip it around. Ball's gonna go in between the inner thighs. So right between the inner thighs, we're popping up into a plank. Shoulders over the wrist, squeeze onto that ball. Engage through your quads, press back through those heels. Long line of energy from the crown of your head all the way down your spine, shooting out those heels. Perfect. We're gonna hold here for just 15 more seconds. And we're gonna take it into a pike. So we'll take a big exhale, press those hips up. In just five, four, three, two, and one. Big exhale, you're gonna press those hips up. Come into that down dog position. Inhale, we ripple back down, coming into that plank. So really tiny movement. Exhale, press up, squeeze onto that ball. Inhale, pull it down, shoulders over the wrists. See if you can connect to the breath here. Squeezing onto that ball is gonna help you to engage through the pelvic floor, through the inner thighs. Perfect. All right, we're gonna come down for some push-ups in two, one. Knees come down, we're gonna take our push-ups from the knees but try and make it a tricep push up here. So as we inhale, we lower down, big exhale to press away, squeeze onto that ball. You're gonna get a little bit of pushback from the ball as you lower down, that's okay. <sighs> Always take a second to rest if you need it. 15 seconds left here, if you wanna hold in that plank, that's perfect. We're gonna move that ball so it comes in between the ankles in just five, four, three, two, and one. So bring it back in. We're gonna adjust the ball so it comes between the ankles. We're gonna do a side pike. So we come back into that plank. We're gonna rotate so that toes are turning to the left. Exhale, we lift up. Inhale, we pull it back down. So a little bit more work through the obliques. Still pretty tiny movement, but as you lift the hips, you're squeezing onto that ball, pulling through the right side of your body. 15 seconds, we're moving over to the other side. Stay with me. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Come back around through center. Swivel the toes so they face the right. Big exhale, pull it up, pulling through that left side oblique. Inhale, we bring it back down, right back into that plank. Inhale, pull it back down, shoulders over the wrists. 15 seconds left here. We're gonna be done with this plank work. Just five, four, Three, two, one. Bring it down. Woo, shake out those wrists just a little bit. Okay, next up we've got a little bit of upper body work here. So I want you to put the ball in between your inner thighs. All right, so we're coming into that high kneeling position. Ball is in between the inner thighs. You're gonna open those arms out to the side. We're just gonna draw little tiny circles forward. So you're squeezing on to that ball, engaging through the inner thighs, engaging through the pelvic floor. Okay, imagine you're holding little weights in your hands. All right, we're gonna reverse the direction here in five, four, three, two, and one, roll it back the other way. So you wanna make sure here that you're not starting to arch through your low back. So back stays nice and flat, shoulders stay over those hips. 
and you're squeezing onto that ball for dear, dear life. So inner thigh should be burning here. Think about a long line of energy going from your knees through the midline of your body, shooting up through the crown of that head, pulling you up towards the ceiling. 10 more seconds here. We're just gonna open and close with the hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. So inhale, we close. Big exhale, we open up. Arms stay right up at shoulder height. Nice strong core, strong low body. So pull that chest together, squeeze through your pecs as you close, bring those fingertips to touch. Pull it back, squeeze through the back of your shoulders as you open up. 10 more seconds here. We're just gonna go into that shoulder press that we all know and love. Five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to sit your hips back to your heel, maybe hover those heels right, or hover your hips right above your heel so you still have that ball between the inner thighs. We're gonna hinge forward from the hips just a little bit. Elbows come up at shoulder height. You're gonna exhale, press it up. Inhale, pull it down. So let me show y'all from the side what I want this to look like. So you're squeezing onto that ball, hinging forward from the hips, nice flat back. Elbows up at shoulder height. Big exhale to press. Inhale, bring it down. Fifteen seconds left here. We're gonna come down to that mat. Do a little bit of bridge work. Just five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way down. Okay. We're gonna lower down. Ball stays in between the inner thighs. Feet are about hips distance apart. We're just gonna do some simple bridges here. So big exhale. Scoop through the low belly. Press those hips up. Come to the top. Pause, take your inhale, next big exhale. You tuck that tailbone under, squeeze onto that ball, lower all the way down. Big exhale, press down through the heels, scoop through that low belly, press the hips up. Pause at the top, inhale. Big exhale, slowly lower it all the way back down. Perfect. All right, next one, you're gonna to come to the top and pulse on that ball. Bring it up, we hold it up. We're just gonna pulse and pulse. Squeeze that ball in and in, in and in. Perfect, if you feel tension in that low back, lower your hips just a couple of inches. You don't need to hyper extend the hips, so it's not about getting that big arch in the low back, it's about engaging through your glutes. A big ugly squeeze in those glutes, pull the inner thighs together. Just 15 seconds left here, stay with me. We're gonna get right back into that bridge in five and four, three, two, one. Slowly lower it all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Big exhale, press down through the heels, scoop through that low belly, press the hips up, pause. Take your inhale. Big exhale, pull it all the way back down, slowly, slowly. Focus on that breath, big exhale, lower it down, slowly, slowly, pulling that belly button back down towards the mat. Big exhale, press it up, perfect. 15 seconds left here, we're gonna roll over into a tabletop position. Just five. Four, three, two, and one. We bring it all the way down. We're gonna flip it over, coming into a tabletop position. Ball is gonna go behind the left knee to start. Hands come down, and we're just gonna open up to the side. So it's a fire hydrant here. You have a flexed foot. You're opening the left knee out to the left side of the room. Squeezing onto that ball. 15 seconds left here. 
We're gonna kick it back for a little donkey kick. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that foot flex, maybe readjust the hands. We're gonna kick it up and up. So we're not letting that knee come all the way back down. Hips stay square to the ground. Shoulders stay over the wrist. Lots of work through the core to stabilize here. So as we press up, what I don't want to see is a big arch through the low back. So pull that belly button in, nice flat back. Hamstring should be burning here. 10 seconds left. We're going to switch it right over to the other side. I'll flip around so y'all can see. Just five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it down. We're gonna flip it around, starting with that fire hydrant. So ball goes behind the right knee. Flex that foot. Set yourself up. So left hip is over the left knee. Shoulders are over the wrist. Flex your foot, big exhale, open out. So lots going on here. You're staying stable through your core, pulling that belly button to your spine, spreading your shoulder blades nice and wide. 15 seconds, we're gonna move right into that donkey kick. Stay with me. Just five, four, three, two, one. Flex that foot, big exhale, press it up. Inhale, we lower. That knee does not touch down. Squeeze onto that ball. And if you don't have the ball, not a big deal. Definitely not a big deal. You can do all this stuff without it. Just flex that foot and imagine squeezing on. Imagine you have a ball there, even if you don't. 15 seconds left here. Ball goes between the inner thighs. We're popping back into a plank to wrap things up. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Pop that ball right in between the inner thighs. We're coming into a plank. Shoulders over the wrist. Press back through those heels. From here, we're going to do a bear tap. So I want you to bend those knees down, tap the mat, pull it back up. Bend it down. Pull it up. 15 seconds here. Now we're gonna be done. My AirPod fell out. We're totally okay. Squeeze that low belly. We're gonna be here for just five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down. Press your hips back to your heels. Nice big stretch. Bring it all the way up. All right, we're just gonna cool down a little bit here, just a little bit. Shake out those shoulders, roll them back. Come back to your breathing. Hope you enjoyed this quick little Pilates workout with the ball. If you have a ball, awesome. If you don't, still awesome. Roll out those wrists. I know we did a lot of planks. We were on those wrists a lot. Maybe the flexion does not feel good for you. That's okay. I want you to grab onto your right hand with your left, flip that palm up, press it towards me and gentle pull on those fingers. So it should feel like a nice deep stretch through your wrist. I'm gonna switch it over in five, four, three, two, and one, perfect. Grab onto the left fingertips with the right hand. Press that palm towards me. Gentle pull on those fingertips. Little micro bend in the elbow. Perfect, pull. Just five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, you guys did it. I hope you enjoyed, whoo! Hope you enjoyed our workout today and I hope that I will see you guys in our next one. Remember that you are awesome and you can do anything that you put your mind to. See you guys in our next video. Thank <laughs> you.